Picture this. It's the Avian Bowl of 2021. It's a blistering hot day at the Delaware State Fair. I'm on stage with three teammates competing in a high stakes bird trivia game. The competition was neck and neck until the final question. The question was, what country's national bird is the kiwi? I smile on the inside because I knew the opposition didn't know the answer. I slam my hand on the buzzer as hard as I can. I lean into the microphone and I say, Australia. Bzz, nope, so close yet so far. You lost the game with a final score of 11 to three. I know that doesn't sound close, but the point truly mattered and that moment will forever go down in history as the most embarrassing moment of all time. Hi, my name is Kieran Probert and I'm a member of the Sunset Branch 4-H Club. I'm a reluctant member of the Poultry Project Group and Avian Bowl team. I'm not really the biggest fan of farming or really anything, but my dad always says, until you have your thing, my thing is your thing. But if I know anything about poultry, it's that I really don't like the kiwi bird. The kiwi is the national bird of New Zealand. This means that the people of New Zealand had a genuine discussion about which birds were the greatest in their country, and they chose the kiwi. To me, this seems incredibly dumb, as the kiwi bird is among one of the most ridiculous animals in the world. They are so tiny, scrawny, and useless to everyone around them. Birds literally evolved from dinosaurs. After millions of years, a T-Rex became a kiwi. Well done, evolution. Perhaps the kiwi is useless, but people love it anyways. Maybe it doesn't matter if you have a purpose or not. Either way, someone will always appreciate you. The kiwi bird is defenseless against its modern predators. Since New Zealand is a remote island, most animals there weren't mammals. Kiwi evolved to fit a niche that in other places were filled by other animals, such as badgers or even possums. Since the kiwi didn't have to hide in trees to avoid ground predators, they lost their ability to fly. Since they can't fly, they instead have to rely on making uh, burrows underground. When humans arrived in New Zealand about 1,000 years ago, invasive mammals began to appear on the island. The weasels, rats, possums, dogs, and cats quickly devoured the silly, trusting, flightless kiwi. <clears throat> Inside of their burrow, they didn't even have the luxury of being safe. A weasel or dog may find a kiwi's burrow during the day while the bird is asleep. And there's nothing the kiwi can do about it. Despite all these challenges, the kiwi perseveres and somehow manages to survive. In a way, it is somewhat admirable. Now you might be thinking, well, if these birds are so stupid, how are they still alive as the species? Well, to be honest, I have no idea. Their incubation process is absolute garbage. To start, the kiwi is about just as large as a chicken, so you would generally think their eggs are just as good. That's wrong. Chicken eggs are much smaller and easier to produce, or at least I think they are. I don't go outside and I'm not a chicken, so I don't know how I produce. Either way, the kiwi definitely had a much harder time laying eggs, considering a few factors. The kiwi only gets to lay two to three clutches of eggs per year, Meanwhile, a good chicken can do that in a week. The worst part is, the female kiwi can't eat within a few days of laying the egg. I can't imagine going days without eating a bag of chips. That must be terrible. And guess what? The female doesn't even sit on the egg. The male does it. They don't even understand the one rule that most other animals follow, well, except for the seahorse, which is just a whole different level of stupid. The chicken takes about 21 days on average to hatch. Now compare that to the kiwi, which takes 70 to 80 days to hatch. The kiwi's butt is going to be real sore after all that. However, the kiwi's incubation process isn't entirely worthless. It comes out fully feathered and able to fend for itself. Maybe the kiwi isn't so bad at reproducing, as I thought. They put more effort into than most other birds, and they come out easy, easy to fend for themselves. But chickens come out gross, naked, and really, really stupid. You might think that the kiwi has a fairly long beak, but technically it has the shortest beak of all birds because the beak is measured from the nostrils all the way down to the uh, tip of the beak. Because of this, dust easily gets into their nostrils and causes a lot of sneezing while looking for food. The kiwi also has a harder time finding food in the first place, as they can't fly, so they have to stay close to their burrow. Due to this, they cover less ground and have a harder time finding good spots for worms. They do 10 times the effort, yet only get a fraction of the results. They try even harder than other birds to survive, and that for me is a little inspirational. I'm going to be honest when I say this, the kiwi's starting to grow on me. 
There's flaws, of course, but the flaws only make it better. The kiwi is a determined bird who will do whatever it takes to survive. It makes the best of its flightless situation, and instead of using a nest, it makes a burrow. The kiwi has to dig around for worms in the ground rather than being able to survey large areas by flying. I understand now why everyone likes the kiwi. As such an optimistic approach about every situation and does whatever it can to make life better. In fact, in a way, kiwis are better than people. Instead of destroying the environment, the kiwi preserves it. Instead of giving up on something, the kiwi keeps going. It doesn't matter what the situation is, the kiwi will always do its best to survive. Meanwhile, us people hardly care about anything but status. The kiwi isn't the strongest, fastest, biggest, or smartest bird, but even then, it's better than all of us. So go out there. Do what you can to make the world better, like a kiwi would. Be optimistic in your life and really try to do your best. Be determined in whatever task you may find yourself in. Put into effort in whatever you do, like how a kiwi hatches their young. Support others and be kind to them, like a kiwi would. Try your best at everything. Whatever you do, just remember to be a kiwi. Except don't try the worms. They taste bad. But otherwise, go out there and make the world a better place, like a kiwi would. Thank you.